Hey, it's Renee, and I'm trying to go live like I normally do, but apparently I'm not connecting, so it's a good thing I record it for YouTube, and I'll put it back up later, but I tried to do the live feed, so anyway, it's Monday morning coffee chat, and in my cup today I have um, Javalia Bowl and um, Fancy Vanilla, um, I have Vanilla uh, so let's see, try again. So I have vanilla creamer in it too. It's, um, one that was on sale. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, has very little calories, very little carbs, so it's okay. Whatever. doesn't matter. I drink my coffee how I want to drink it, whether I'm trying to lose weight or not. So anyway, <laughs> um, speaking of losing weight, sorry, that's my very first sip today. Okay. So, apparently, I can't go live because my internet connection is not working, which is a bummer. So, <clears throat> because I stopped to do my workout and record my other workout. Anyway, it's a trouble when you live in a house that you have to share the internet with um, the whole house. So, <clears throat> so, anyway, hope you guys had a happy Mother's Day to those who had mothers. Which is all of you, but to those of you who are mothers, uh, hope you had a good Mother's Day. I, my son, it was very sweet. He texted me. So let me back up. My husband's been sick. So my husband's losing weight, unfortunately. Uh, he's been sick now for two days. Um, and he's not going to work today. He did just leave here to go take the truck back to work. And I don't know how that's going to go because he can't be away from my bathroom for very long. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, poor guy is just really sick. Uh, um, so, he was home on Saturday, and I remember him texting my son saying, Hey, don't forget, tomorrow's Mother's Day, because I live with boys who don't remember that kind of stuff. And they always do stuff at the last minute. So, the next thing you know, I get a text from my son saying, Hey, I'm taking you to lunch tomorrow afternoon. He goes, but you're still going to have to drive because he doesn't have a car yet. And I'm like, okay, great. And he goes, I'll meet you at 1145 because it doesn't open until noon and it's not far from our house. I'm like, oh, okay, great. So that was fun. I had no idea where we were going and he just planned it. He planned it. Oh, that was so sweet. So he walked over here yesterday and he's like, hey, I'm here because you have to text when you get here because we live upstairs and there's no doorbell. So, um, yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, hey, my internet might be working now. Anyway, we'll just record this. So, um, he shows up and he has the most beautiful card ever. And we usually do goofy stuff. Um, like my husband for my birthday, he'll get me a bar mitzvah card. Or for our anniversary, you know, he'll get a silly card. Up until lately, until I got... I'll take that back until I started getting, you know, so I had the cancer and stuff like that. Now he does all these super romantic sappy cards. Um, but so apparently my son has taken suit and he also got me a very sappy Mother's Day card that just was just amazing. And um, I, he was just talking about how much he loves me and what a fantastic mom I am. And it's very sweet and made me cry. I'm like, what are you doing? No sappy cards. Now I cry. But I cried. So I thought it was okay. So then um, we get to the restaurant and I'm sharing some stories with him of some things that have happened this week. And he was just like, I don't get it. I don't get it, Mom. And then he told me, he goes, you are one of the nicest and kindest people I've ever met. He goes, seriously. And it just made me cry again. I was like, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I go, but I try really, really hard and I'm really, really bad at it and I have to fight to be kind. I have to fight to be nice because you get tired or you hurt or you just don't really care and so you get snippy or you get sarcastic or whatever and um, you really have to fight for that to not be that way. You have to, I, I'm fighting, I told him, I go, I'm really fighting right now to like remember birthdays and stuff like that. I go, I'm really having a hard time with that. I was really proud of myself for Mother's Day though because I Shopped and bought these necklaces online. I remember you guys, I told you guys about the caffeine molecule necklace that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. 
and I loved it. So I ordered a whole bunch of them to give out to specific people for Mother's Day. And that three of them were my mom, my sister, and my Aunt Becky. Because my Aunt Becky loves coffee, and I love my Aunt Becky. And she's great. A great person and influence in my life. So I ordered these necklaces, and I've had them sitting around here for months, which... Um, at one point, I woke up in the middle of the night thinking I had lost the necklaces somewhere, and I'm like, no, I don't know where they're at, and I want to send them to Mother's Day. And then I was like, oh, yeah, they're right here where I put them from one of the day I bought them. So that means that they've been in the way, but that's okay because I had to keep them out. And then I, like, had to put notes on my Google Calendar so that my phone would go off a week before Mother's Day saying, you need to buy Mother's Day cards. And then it went off in the day, you need to mail the cards with the gifts today. And it worked. And so I did. And they got their necklaces and everything within a couple of days. And they all loved them. And my mom wore hers too. She works at like a little dude ranch thing that the people love. They come up all over from all over Arizona. In fact, my neighbors own the house that we live in. They like to go there and visit every year they go to Arizona when they're snowboarding. So it was so funny because my mom was there a lot and they had lunch with her last year. It was kind of cool. Anyway. <clears throat> my mom was working and these ladies go, oh, that looks scientific. And she goes, yeah, it's the ca caffeine monoclonal. And they're like, that's so cool. I need to take pictures, you know. And, and her coworkers like, where did you get it? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I love it. My mom's getting all this attention because of my necklace. And it's just fun. I know I was so excited when I got mine from Aaron. So that's why I had to get it for them. So, I mean, it's nothing. It's just a trinket. It's just a silly trinket. It's not like anyone made of gold or whatever. But I just love that they're getting so much enjoyment out of it as much as I did when Aaron had given it to me. Um, I'm trying to do 21 days in a row of working out and so far so good. This starts the last week of that challenge. I've gotten until Sunday. So, um, I just have to get up here and hopefully my internet will work and I will stream my workout and I will get started on that. And then also same with my fitness page, 21 days of working out on there, doing a really hard workout exercise this morning, but we'll get it done. Uh, I gotta get going though, because I don't know, I'm hoping he, Keith will be back from, he, I was going to say he will be back, hopefully, and back in bed. So I got to get, I got everything together, like my workout and get that done and the shower and stuff since we only have one bathroom and he's in need of it all the time. Poor guy. Um, so anyway, that was a wrap up of my week. We got new printers at work and they're pretty fancy and they have ninja arms that have already tacked me once. <laughs> so seriously, the arms like this and I didn't know that. And I reached in and grabbed my paperwork and I went poop and got my finger. But that's Renee's life. It didn't cut me. It just scared me. It scared me a lot. Um, I have a really, I'm thankful for my friends. I have some good friends. And so my one friend took me to Costco and I bought stuff with my Costco cards finally. No big, no big deal. Just a big jug of maple syrup and some berries and some tiramisu. That was almost a hundred bucks. That's crazy, but okay. So anyway, um, and it's raining again. And it's going to rain all week. So woohoo for us. <laughs> so anyway, happy Monday. Love you guys. Enjoy your coffee. May it be strong and bold like you. <laughs> See ya. Bye.